All right, hey everybody, Justin here with our off-grid cabin. I wanted to make a quick video today and talk about our solar setup that we have for our cabin. Now, we didn't go crazy. We didn't go really expensive uh, because our cabin is not 100% built. Actually, it's if you look back in the distance, uh, we just got the base of the cabin in. So I figured it, uh, we would start off small, uh, give you guys a little bit of pointers on where we looked and why I chose this system and um, the importance of having it and, and what it has helped us and what we can do with our current setup. In today's world where everything seems to be haywire, my family and I decided to do what we've always talked about, buying land, building a cabin, and creating a place where we can get away. My name is Justin Greer and I'm a software engineer and digital marketer. In 2019, I finally decided we needed a place to get away. Somewhere we can go hunting without the pressure of public, ride ATVs, relax, and quite frankly, do whatever the heck we wanted. Follow us on our journey by liking and subscribing to ensure you never miss a beat of what's happening at the property. So to start off, obviously the sun is not over the panel, but I have a uh, little plastic um shed that i picked up off my brother-in-law uh for free and it houses just some of the tools and um some of the stuff that we have here when we come up to the property but as you can see i got a 100 watt panel mounted to the top of here and and then the wires actually run inside the, and down and then over to a controller that is here on the wall So this is from Renegry. And now this is the solar controller. And this then will run to down to a battery. Now I just picked up a deep cycle, obviously a 12 volt deep cycle battery. And to top it off, uh, to convert it over into power, I picked up a thousand watt uh, power inverter, 12 volt power inverter for our needs. Now I want to remind everybody that this is just a, 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 a so to speak, a starter uh, solar setup. This is not to run a full house. Uh, the whole purpose of going off grid is to be off grid, uh, and but that doesn't mean that you have to be powerless, right? In all the commodities of today's world. So this is just to charge cell phones, like I said, and laptops, and. Uh, batteries for the camera, batteries for the trail cams in the back, and this setup worked perfect. Now, if I had any advice for anybody that's looking to buy uh, a solar setup for an off-grid setup, maybe you're hunting um, base camp, uh, maybe an RV, or just go camping, I would uh, highly suggest this setup that I have. It was kind of pieced together off of uh, Amazon. I'm not saying I'm a professional or an expert in solar by any means, but I can tell you that I had this setup hooked up in probably maybe 15 minutes, and that included me getting on the roof up here and mounting um, the solar panel. We ended up picking up this for the solar panels for roughly, again, it was... Um, about 300 bucks for everything. So we got the panel, the inverter, the controller for right around $300. And then I had to buy the battery. Now the battery didn't bother me. I think the battery was a hundred bucks and um, it was all well worth it. So we probably have all together with everything, uh, my our plus rebates, it, 380 some dollars so extremely cheap to do uh considering it's relatively cheap uh, but it what it provides when you're especially here for our off-grid cabin uh, is so essential that that is like i will pay that any day to have this and again we bought this off amazon so i'm going to put links down in the description of the video to kind of show and point to these things now i'm not affiliated with any of these products you're more than welcome to do your shopping so one of the things i do want to mention though that is don't overcomplicate the system if you're just looking to charge a laptop if you're looking to 
uh, maybe run some lights, then you don't need nothing crazy and do the research on how much wattage and how much amps you're gonna be pulling. And you can, might be able to consult, but a lot of times you'll see what people are running in the comments on the products. And this 100 watt panel with a 12 volt deep cycle, one 12 volt deep cycle battery and this controller from Renogy, the, the controller and the panel from Renogy uh, have been more than adequate for us for over the past uh, month. And I'm actually quite pleased uh, on a couple fronts how well it works and how cheap it was and how easy it was to install. We will be moving this probably over to the cabin when we get um, the cabin. I'm looking at some options for a cabin now. But uh, all in all, I am extremely pleased with this setup and uh, hope this gives you an idea of some things that you can do. If you're looking at this, maybe for an off-grid, uh, I just say don't overthink it. This stuff is actually really simple. It's just making sure that you get the right setup enough for what you want to do. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.